What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUp Essentials for iPad. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about some interior navigation tips for navigating inside of models in SketchUp for iPad. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so in this video, we're gonna talk about some tips for navigating interiors inside of SketchUp for iPad. So you can download this and follow along from the 3D warehouse if you want to. And so one thing about SketchUp is when you're outside of a building, it's really easy to fly around. Right, you just put your finger down, you move it on the screen, and things kind of orbit around. However, that gets kind of clunky when you get inside of a building. I can put two fingers down and drag in order to zoom, and then I can pinch in order to zoom. But once you get inside of a building like this, and I'm just gonna pinch a few more times, now, like, orbiting around can be a little bit frustrating. Right, and the reason for that is because you can go through walls and other things like that. So the orbit, function isn't necessarily the best way to navigate around interiors inside of SketchUp for iPad. So a, a tool that I use a lot is if I tap on the three dots right here, there's actually an option in here for position camera. And this works a lot better once you're actually in the building. Um, but what you can do is you can tap on position camera. Well, what that's going to do is that's going to give you the ability to click and drag in a location. So. If I have that tool active, I can click and drag in order to set the location of the camera and the direction that the camera wants to look. And then once you do that, notice how you get this option here for setting your eye height. And in this case, I want my eye height to be six foot. So what that does is that allows me to really quickly pick and set a base location inside of, um, inside of a building without me actually having to do a whole bunch of orbiting or anything like that. The other cool thing about this is it drops you in look around mode. And notice how in look around mode, if I um, drag my pencil, this is going to keep the location of my camera in one place and rotate the direction that it's looking. Look around mode is really important for working with interiors in SketchUp um, in general um, because it gives you the ability to change the way you're looking without orbiting through a wall or something like that. And so one thing that I do a lot of inside of SketchUp for iPad or um, SketchUp desktop version is I save scenes of locations that I want. So like for example, I might have a scene in here where I wanna look into the kitchen. And I can go ahead and I can customize things like the shadows, so I can get different sunlight coming in here, other things like that. But once I've got that set up the way that I want, there we go, I like that. What I would do is I would come in here and I would save a scene. And so you can go into scenes, add scene. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna give me the ability to navigate around really quickly. So. That way, now if I accidentally do like a zoom extents or if I zoom outside or something like that, I can just tap on that scene in order to get right back where my camera was. Okay, and so another tool that I use a lot on the inside of the building is the walk tool. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap on this tool right here. So you can tap the three dots and then find the walk tool. And so what the walk around tool does is it allows you to tap and actually move as if you're walking. And it's a little bit choppy in this building. I'm not 100% sure why, but the nice thing about this is I can use this in order to move around and I'm not accidentally gonna orbit outside my building. So I can use this to kind of move around slowly based on a point that I have inside of my model like this. All right, so one other thing to be aware of is sometimes you end up in kind of a tight space. Right, so um, sometimes you're in a room that's just very narrow or something like that. Well, you can adjust the field of view of your camera by going into the zoom tool right here. So if I tap on the zoom tool, notice what that does is in addition to giving me the ability to be able to drag in and out, I can also tap in here and adjust my field of view. So if I type in a value of 45, notice how my field of view gets wider. So if I type in a value of 75, it gets very wide. Now you have to be a little bit careful with this because you can start getting distortion with higher values, right? If I start jumping up to like 95 or something like that, everything starts getting really stretched. But you can use this field of view function in order to get a wider field of view in smaller spaces. So this hallway is a great example. So if you go with the standard 35 degree field of view, notice how when you look around in here, um, you don't necessarily get like the full feel of the hallway, 
right? But what you could do is you could use the zoom tool and adjust that field of view to something like 45 degrees. And notice how that starts giving us a little bit more. So you can use this, and again, you wanna be a little bit careful with it, but you can use this in order to start getting a better view of a space inside of SketchUp. And again, I'd recommend once you get a scene like this set up, you click on the plus button in order to save it. Remember that that scene will save your, that scene will save your field of view um, from that location as well. So if I tap back in here, notice how that field of view gets wider again, based on whatever I had saved at that time. All right, and so and then one last tip is sometimes you wanna create elevation views that show something like, let's say we wanted to show these cabinets and you wanna cut out the things that are behind this. Now you could come in here and add a section plane if you wanted to. So that would actually cut through your model, but it gives you a whole bunch of extra stuff that you have to manage. There's a little trick though that you can use um, where you can actually use the position camera tool in order to cut out anything behind the camera in order to get an elevation view. Okay, and so what I wanna do is remember how we had the position camera tool that we used before. Well, I'm gonna tap that and I'm gonna put a point right here and then I'm gonna move my pencil and I'm gonna let up what that's going to do is that's going to place my camera in this location. Well, I wanna jump into my scene camera parallel projection right here. Well, notice how when I jump into parallel projection mode, what that does is that cuts out everything that was behind that camera. And so one thing to be aware of with SketchUp for iPad is if you try to like pinch to zoom, it's gonna take you out of parallel projection mode. So there's a little bit of a workaround here. And the workaround is you need to get into this front on view and you need to tap parallel projection, but in this case, you don't wanna pinch to zoom. You wanna come over here to the left-hand side of the page and you wanna use the zoom and pan tools to move around. If you use the zoom and pan tools instead of the pinch and the two fingers, then this will allow you to save this and then we can just save this as a scene. But what that does is that allows us to really quickly create elevations um, out of our models without adding a bunch of section cuts that we have to manage later. All right, so that's where I'm in this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. If you have any interior navigation tips that I missed, I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.